Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. We're on the beautiful Celebrity Constellation on our 11 day cruise around the Caribbean. In today's video we're in St Kitts and we're going to take you for a cruise line excursion Essential St Kitts. And so on this excursion we're going to go to four different locations. Firstly we're going to Carabel Batic in the lovely Romney Manor. Then we're going to go to Brimstone Hill Fortress. We're going to take a visit to Timothy Hill, one of the highest spots in St Kitts, and also share with you the port shopping. So come along with us as we share with you the essential St Kitts. Enjoy. Well, good morning, cruise fans. And here we are on day six of our 10 day cruise around the Caribbean on the lovely Celebrity Constellation. And today we're in St Kitts and Nevis, a beautiful set of islands in the Eastern Caribbean and we're going off today to do a bit of a port tour, uh, an organised tour so we look forward to sharing that with you but I just thought I would give you an idea of the port itself from, from Deck 11 here on Constellation and how lovely it looks. Nice little marina in the right hand side there and the rest of the port spread over uh, in front of the mountain there. I think I can call that a mountain. So we look forward to sharing this with you. So stay tuned. And with us today as a special treat in the port is, is Rotterdam, which is the uh, Holland America line. And uh, she's a lovely ship. And she's just to the side of us here. So I just thought I would give you just a little sneaky peek of that ship as she is docked next door to us. How lovely is she and it's nice to see other brands uh, outside of the Royal Caribbean group. So here we are, we're in uh, St Kitts and Nevis and we've just got off our cruise ship and we're down in the little reception area and just waiting to get on to our excursion today which is essential St Kitts and as you get off the cruise ships you arrive down here at the end of the pier and this is where the assembly area is for the excursion itself so that's exactly where we're going now so here we are on our first stop on our essential St Kitts tour with the cruise line. It cost us $70 a person, but it gave us the opportunity to see this beautiful preserved colonial house, most likely owned previously, originally by somebody involved in trading, perhaps slave trading even, uh, beautifully preserved and an absolute array and abundance of plants and ferns beautiful colors has a an absolutely wonderful array of colorful plants most of which are named so if you're into your botany if you're into your environmental issues and like to see plants there's some absolutely fantastic plants and ferns, etc., that you can see here. How lovely is that? So lovely painted buildings. And obviously all pre preserved. Isn't that lovely? And as we go through, you can see a variety of different plants and shrubs, all of which has the convenience of a name tag on the front. So you can get a better appreciation of what's here. Isn't that lovely? And little nooks and crannies and little staircases down into the undergrowth and 
beautifully scented flowers and really nicely maintained. And then as we go still further, you can see areas for rest and relaxation and lovely painted buildings. And here you get a lovely view of uh, the ocean, the Caribbean Sea. And right in front of you is a tree which is over 300 years old. Allegedly the oldest tree on St. Kitts. Planted in the 17 or 1800s. So how lovely is that? The oldest tree on the island of St. Kitts. And there she is. How about that? And so the other side of that uh, viewpoint obviously is the big old tree, but uh, somewhere nice to relax. And Again, really lovely, well-maintained lawns. And Susie's there, uh, enjoying a little sit down. And you can see the rest of the plantation building itself. How about that? And another lovely little view down the hill. Friendly little shops with items to purchase like bags and shawls and t-shirts etc. And a little bar called the Rainforest Bar. and a variety of large sheets and blankets and a beautiful fountain. How lovely is that? And the other side of the, of the gardens and the exit from the shop. And again, a beautiful part of the estate with nice views over the mountainside. There's Susie there. And we uh, will take a look at the view over the top. How lovely is that? And again, a beautiful little set of steps and gardens up to a nice little tower and a great. And so that was Romney Manor, the home of Caribel Batik and just thought we'd give you some further information about what we've just seen. That was Caribel Batik or Caribel House. We hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again at the next stop. And back onto our bus. Second stop 
on our tour of St. Kitts and we're at the main fort at the top of the hill and as you can see we got some fantastic views down to the bottom and uh, quite a few bus tours are up here and as you can see behind an absolutely fantastic outlook the mountain that's volcanic that mountain but it's been dormant for a couple of hundred years and a nice little reception area where you can get yourself a drink buy yourself a carry beer or some water or something to eat thank you and obviously there's the coronavirus protections and there's a, a lovely little visitor center here as well where you can go in and you can get a bit of an orientation as to what's going on here and the history and if we look up there we can see the top of the fort and we're going to go up there right now and some beautifully preserved cannons and obviously evidence of the hills and mountains behind the fort and the areas and direction in which it needed to be defended. Uh, it was taken by the French and then the British took it back and kept it. And Susie's about halfway up and we're going to go up to the top of the hill to the fort right at the top of the summit. So, dear viewers, you can see what we go through to be able to bring this content to you. And all we ask is that you consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And we can continue to bring you this sort of content. Thank you in advance. And if I sound out of breath, it's because I am. And as you can see, we're now at the top from the fort. And just taking a breather and we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, here we are now at the top of the fort with an absolutely magnificent view of not only the secure part of the fort, and of course you have to go across the drawbridge there, or what was a drawbridge, to get in. But again, you can see long range cannon, clearly used to dissuade invaders from even attempting to get here and a beautiful port entrance and of course the cannon itself and what is a truly remarkable sight over the over the coast and you can see Nevis in the distance and a lot of the town of Basseterre which is a French word for low land Basse, Basse Terre so that's why they called Basseterre Basseterre because it's the low part of the island. And if you take a look up here, of course, you can see why. Volcanoes and hills and mountains behind the entire plateau, which is Basseterre. And so this is the Western place of arms. So obviously, defending the western side of the fort itself and as you can see 
down the bottom, lots of accommodation and various activities going on. And of course, if you look down the bottom here now, you can see that you can get yourself a four by four uh, experience and come all the way up to the port itself and down in front of us another plateau with cannon covering most of the sides and still further on about uh, 12 o'clock on your picture now you can see a further plateau with more cannon so how good is that so that's the main fort, just outside of Basseterre in St Kitts. And we'll take a little look inside the fort itself. And as we come through the doorway, you can see a whole bunch of photographs and information about the fort itself and as one would expect at the top of the hill in the fort itself is the powder store and general quarters and living quarters for the officers and for the ratings and quite a lovely place to see you don't see that every day so there's the fort at the top of the hill in Basseterre St Kitts and go in here and again it gives you more information about Brimstone Fort and of course the volcano and various pictures and artifacts from the port, the port itself. How lovely is that? And a little signing book there to say that you'd visited. There you go, that's Brimstone Fort in Basseterre, I think it's. And here's the stairs to the gun deck. So we'll go up and take a little look. This is Brimstone Port, Fort. And again, the whole deck accentuated by some huge cannon defending the island and the fort from invaders. How was that? So you don't see this stuff every day. It's our pleasure to be able to bring this to you. So if this is the sort of content that you like, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription, this channel will grow. And we've got just over a thousand subscribers now. So we're growing. And we just love bringing you this content and we hope you like it. Thanks in advance. And so if you ever want to defend a fort, you're going to need one of these things, a huge cannon and an outlook over the rest of your island, the area that you want to defend. And the view from the gun deck back down into the center of the fort itself. Okay, so that's Brimstone Fort at the top of the hill in Basseterre St. Kitts. Hope you enjoyed.
end. A little bit breezy here, but another little look over the port itself and the entrance. And also the little visitor center and a little shop on the left hand side as well. And so this derelict area is the artillery and officers quarters. So obviously separated from the main ranks and with something probably a little better to reside in. But also something to oversee. So how about that? Isn't that lovely? And a beautiful outlook over the sea. And also a beautiful outlook over the buildings and our city. Okay, welcome back. So uh, here we're on our third stop on our essential tour of St. Kitts and we are on Timothy Hill. It's another high spot on the island and uh, very popular with the uh, bus tours. And obviously it's a little place to stop. We've got a few minutes so we can go over and have a look at the view. And if you want to come to St. Kitts and get yourself a view like that, then this is just adjacent to Timothy Hill. It looks uh, rather lovely uh, on the Atlantic side. You can see the uh, white waves coming in. And if we look to the right, this is the Caribbean side, Caribbean Sea. So how about that? What a difference a piece of land makes. Yeah. So I hope you're enjoying that. Another superb view over St. Kitts and Nevis. And of course, a simply exquisite view to the bottom. Obviously, it's a bit of a walk, a bit of a trek to get down there. But this is Timothy Hill and this is our stop on our essential St. Kitts tour. So, we hope this is the sort of content that you like. And if it is, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription our channel can grow. And we're just over a thousand subscribers now. Uh, and thank you to everyone that subscribed. And if this is the sort of thing that you like, then why don't you take a look? So this is Timothy Hill. And again, the uh, Atlantic side of the island um, with super accommodation, lovely houses built into the hillsides, uh, a very upmarket part of St Kitts. How lovely is that? Okay, so uh, here we are back in the terminal, the cruise terminal, and we've just got off of our bus. We've had a great day today. We've seen a number of the sites of St Kitts and there's a little shopping area here. Sue's finding out some information about various other prices and charges. And some shops and jewelry stores and knickknacks and all that sort and of stuff. And as you get into the port, you can go off to the craft market or walk through the shops back to the ship. And quite a quaint uh, little reception area and a variety of different stores and some of those you might see on the high street. Uh, is Pandora here in one of the jewellers and 
Diamonds International somewhere because they've got a presence pretty much everywhere. So, and then a marina and the, tor the port entrance itself. So, how about that? And some lovely jewellery stores with handbags and goods. And, and in the middle of the square, there's a like a Cheers restaurant where you can get yourself a few beers. The usual souvenir shops and knickknacks and stuff like that. And then down this avenue is the National Museum and Historic Basseterre, which is useful to see. And then as we get closer to the ship terminal, some other places where you can come and swim and enjoy social life. And lastly, before we get to the ship port, I just thought I would give you a quick scan of the shopping area. Which is quite nice littered with the stores that ultimately you would expect to see in these sorts of port complexes. And uh, the local liquor and perfume store. And our friend here dancing around the Christmas tree. And we're gonna go back to the ship now and uh, we'll share the two cruise ships in port with you as we get back on board but again just last fleeting look at the arrival square in the cruise port at St Kitts and as you go through the arrival gate you can be welcomed by this lovely signage of St Kitts and you can find yourself all of the stores that you might desire. So that's St Kitts and we're going to go back through now and we're going to get back on board the ship. And the little arrival area at the end of the quay, it's about a 400 yard walk but this is where you arrive and this is where we'll get our excursion. And as we get back towards the ship key now you can see the beautiful site of Rotterdam part of the Holland America line that we shared with you this morning but also the lovely celebrity constellation how lovely those two cruise ships look side by side and the last look at the volcanic mountain and St Kitts before we get back on board the beautiful celebrity constellation so we hope this sort of in this sort of footage is is content that you like and if that's the case then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel it's through your subscription this channel can grow and we have just over a thousand subscribers which we're really pleased about but and we really enjoy bringing this sort of content to you so your subscription which is free entirely free would be much appreciated and click that bell icon so every time we post a video which we, which is roughly weekly you'll get notified of the next video on our channel thanks for listening thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video bye bye